today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Andrew and I just had lunch and I decided that I was going to drive over to Goodwill and uh, check it out. See what I can find that I can buy and flip for a profit. So, let's head in. Here we go. Okay, well today I'm going to start with the brown aisle. I don't know why. The other aisles are just too crowded, I guess. That bunny's uh, plug just came out. <laughs> what in the world is this? What is it for? Oh, it's a piggy bank. That's what it is. It took me a moment. It's a piggy bank. It's pretty neat. Looks handcrafted. $2.99. Well, shoot. We've got two pieces here um, that are definitely interesting. This is a perfume bottle. It kind of reminds me of Bad Ash glass. Um, so we're gonna stick that in there, and then this guy. Woohoo! I'm glad I skipped to the blue aisle. Um, this is likely made in China, but it's still a pretty, pretty neat piece. I love, I love the silver and the Melifiore. Look, there's another one just staring at us, saying, "Wait, wait! Don't forget me." <laughs> $2.99. Oh my gosh, what in the world is happening right now? It's all the cats. Look at them. They're all different. This one is like, that one is, it is green. That's why it was in the green aisle. There's an art pottery moon in the Christmas section. That's kind of fun. Like a wall hanging, and it is signed on the bottom. Can't really make it out though. I think we'll stick that in here. That's a pretty perfume bottle. Hmm, and that's actually cut and not pressed. Wow, look, it has an arrow pointing to where the perfume is dispensed. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't intentional at all. And restaurant wear Bethel Temple. Iron China, Beaver Falls Laurel. That's interesting. It's restaurant wear. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I don't even know what Bethel Temple is though. Maybe I should rearrange that. It looks like it could be a little perfume bottle with a crystal or at least cut glass stopper. It's a clear one, but $1.99. Fill that with a pretty colored perfume. Right. Here's a kitty cat, $1.99. Kind of sweet. I think it's a doorstop. Possibly. <laughs> I mean, I would use that in my house. How much is it? $1.99 for the sweet little sleeping cat doorstop. Walt Disney World. Walt Disney Productions. A little trinket dish. I feel like Disney stuff does pretty pretty well, right? <laughs> For $1.99. We'll grab that. I reckon I saw the little castle. I was like, wait a second, I know what that is. This is very sweet. I noticed this the first time I walked by and I looked at it and I thought, you know what? That's something my mom would like. <laughs> oh gosh. Um oh it is marked on the bottom. What is that? Kathy Hatch collection? 2001. It's $3.99. I think it's missing the little um, thing that would go in the bottom, but it's a nice decorative piece. And uh, I did pass by it the first time, so now I'm like, you know what? <laughs> That's the second time it's caught my eye. Maybe I'll just stick that in here. I saw this from the other side of the shelf, and I thought, oh, that's just another canister that's missing its lid. Um, but it's not. It's actually a wine chiller. 
pottery wine tiller. I was surprised there were no markings on it, and I did uh, peel off the sticker to check underneath. I'm getting, I'm getting more brazen with that, if you haven't realized. <laughs> um, there's nothing there, so I think this is a nice piece. $2.99, stoneware. Gotta find some room for it in here without breaking anything. This is a sweet little jewelry box. Looks like it was Katie's jewelry box. It's actually personalized. I don't know if that would be 1970s or 80s. <laughs> it's got the little spinny ballerina on it. I don't know. I was actually just like looking at it and now I'm like, you know what? That's a really sweet little jewelry box. It's Lillian Vernon. Uh, the last time I picked up Lillian Vernon, uh, my viewers let me know that that's a catalog where you can um, buy stuff. Lillian Vernon catalog. I know that 1980s stuff is popular right now because a lot of um, people my age are collecting things from their childhoods. So, nah, how much was it? $2.99. Let's just grab it. Well, our total spend there today was $54, I believe. And uh, I'm pleased with everything we got. Those cats were a fun surprise. Uh, granted, they are not Murano. But they're still nice, and I'm thinking I could probably get $18 to $25 for each of those. So, um, you know, two of those will cover the entire cost of everything we bought. But um, it was a good day. So now I'm out of breath because that bag was heavy. <laughs> and um, we're going to head out now. I've got a team Christmas party to attend, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.